Welcome back to our third episode on the counting principle. We are busy discussing to do arrangements with repetition or without repetition. In episode two, we looked at with repetition. Now we're going to look at two problems where they are very clear that there are no repetition allowed. So let's look at the first example and we discuss what this exactly means. In this problem, you will see that they ask us how many four-letter words, passwords, how many four-letter passwords are possible in each, if each letter must come from the alphabet. Now the important thing, you may not use the same letter more than once. So you will notice that the problem is similar to our second episode. The only difference is that this one say without repetition. So let's look at the solution to this problem. Because we are looking for four letter passwords, we're going to draw four lines that and they represent our four positions. We're going to use the 26 letters of the alphabet. But the important thing is the letters may only be used once, not more than once. So that means if the first letter is an A, we can't use A again. So first position, how many possibilities? 26 possibilities for the first position. Whatever we used in the first position, we can't use it again. So in the second position, we only have 25 possibilities. So there are only 25 letters left because we used one already in position one. In the next position, there will only be 24 letters from the alphabet because we used two letters already. And please remember, we can't use them more than once. So once we use them, they can't be used again. The last position will be 23. According to the counting principle, we multiply and we get this answer, which is not an exponent like you've seen in episode two. So this one, please multiply it on your calculator and your answer 358800. And like I said before, you need to write this answer down every time you do a problem in counting principle. So let's look at the second example on without repetition. In this example, you will notice it's the same again as in episode two. We want to know how many words, please remember how many words, these words doesn't always make sense. Can we arrange by using the letters from the word action? So we can't use all the letters from the alphabet. We can only use those six letters. But now the important thing, each letter must be used exactly once. So that means they, there is no repetition. So let's look at the solution. First of all, we're going to use the letters from the word action. Secondly, we can only use it exactly once. No repetition. Now, we're going to draw our six lines. They represent the six positions of the letters to form words. Six letter words. One, two, three, four, five, six. The first position, any one of those six letters can be in position one. But once we used one of them, we can't use it again. So second position, there's only five letters available for that position. In the third position, there's only four available. 
in the next position, there's only three, two, and then one. So every time there's one less, because once we use the letter, we can't use it again. And that's the whole principle of no repetition. Counting principles say how many words without repetition. That means we multiply all of these. And this now you need to multiply this on your calculator. And you will get an answer of 720. At this point in time, I just want to add something to this problem that you will find quite easy. When we are working with this kind of arrangement, where there's no repetition, and we multiply and it goes down to one, and no one is excluded. So all the numbers are there, and this can, you can start at eight, down to seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Anyway, but as long as it goes down to one, then there is a notation which we call factorials that we can use, which will make the calculation of the answer much easier for you. So this particular one, we can write as six factorial. That is the symbol for factorial. This means that it is 6 times 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. On your calculator, you will find this sign. So when you use your calculator, you push 6, you push the factorial sign, and you will see your calculator will give you the answer of 720. Please don't leave your answer in factorial. In exams, you must give the final answer. So this is just an easier way, in particular when we've got more positions uh, to calculate the answer quite easily without making any mistakes. I see you again in our next episode. Thank you.